Hey everyone, the price of lumber shot up again today. Let's take a look at the chart. Okay, so here we are looking at the chart as of today. Uh, the price of lumber for 1,000 board feet is $786. So it has really shot up quite a bit in the last couple of weeks. And uh, this was somewhat unexpected, I believe. Uh, it surprised me when I saw it today uh, that it kept going up. I know it's been going up and I thought it was going to go up and down and gradually go down. <clears throat> and uh, I was expecting it to, to go down um, to kind of close to where it was uh, earlier this year and last year, uh, later in 2021. And that could still happen, but it just things are converging. Uh, there's a low supply, high demand. COVID-19 is, I think, contributing to the lack of supply uh, because lumber is not being processed uh, in the quantities that we can. Because of the housing industry, new home building has been very strong uh, throughout uh, this year. And so the demand for lumber is, is still quite high. And uh, this is going to affect the housing prices again. Um, new home prices uh, shot up or actually a lot of building stopped. Uh, if builders didn't have um, lumber stocked up uh, back in September when it when it uh, the price of lumber reached nearly a thousand dollars per thousand board feet, and uh, <clears throat> so now it's seven eighty six. I don't know which direction it's going to go. I don't know if it's going to keep spiking higher, but this is a pretty significant event as of today. Uh, so you can see the one year chart here, and the historical spike that we had back in September literally was, was off the chart. You can see when I move my cursor above this, it's uh, literally off the chart. Uh, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can just take a better look at this and see what's happening with lumber prices since COVID, uh, since the spike in uh, September because of COVID-19. And uh, you can see how it shot, it, it, it shot up sharply and it fell very quickly. It just dropped uh, back to nearly $500 a board foot, a thousand board feet. And it actually did go down to $500 back in, um, yeah, well, the chart's not paying attention. Uh, there it is, October 29th. It um, was just over $500. Uh, no, it actually was $500. The chart isn't working exactly for me. Yeah, $495. So it just dipped below $500 and then went back up. And uh, that's where I thought it would bounce bounce around, but it's just kept going up and it, it's risen sharply, you can see as of today. So anyway, I just wanted to bring this information to you. Uh, this is uh, very significant and uh, you should be aware of this if you are in the market for a new home to be constructed and you're thinking about contracting with a builder and you've been looking at new home prices, uh, this could affect the price of homes uh, early next year or even now depending on the supplies that builders have in stock to build the inventory that they're planning on. Uh, but if not, there, this is gonna affect uh, home prices for sure, uh, going into 2021, new home prices. Uh, so just keep that in mind if you've been in the market to purchase a new home, to do home renovation projects, uh, to put it on an addition on your home, anything that uses lumber uh, is going to cost more unless this is a spike that quickly uh, drops and qu quickly and suddenly drops again, like it did back in September. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen or is this an indication that uh, lumber prices are going to stay up high uh, for some time. Uh, so that's all for now. If you have any information or any questions about this, leave it in the comments below. And I, I'll try to make, um, I'll try to answer every comment that I get in a timely fashion. And if you have any information, if you're in the lumber industry, uh, or the home construction industry and you have any information to, to add to the conversation, please leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. 